Some of the tools you will need for this rebuild are a couple of pry bars, hammer, ratchet with 3 quarters inch socket, narrow and flat punches, brass drift, flat screwdrivers, or o-ring pick, 3 8 inch and a quarter inch allen wrenches, metal chisel, rags, grease, 2 half inch by 2 to 3 quarters inch hex bolts and nuts. Remove the hammer from the lower rotation. Remove the two nuts and bolts holding the motor to the lower cover. Remove the three Allen bolts holding the cover to the housing. Remove the case from the housing with a chisel and pry bars. Drive the chisel between the case to the housing at the corners to loosen it. Then, using two pry bars gently work the cover off of the housing. Install the two, two and three quarter inch bolts and nuts to temporarily hold motor secure, hand tighten. Remove the two set screws on drive gear bushing. Install one of the set screws into the third hole on the bushing and tighten it to separate the bushing from the drive gear. Remove the set screw and the bushing then remove the gear. Remove spindle and chain from housing. On housing, drive out thrust plate and bearing cup. To do this, remove plugs to access the drive holes for bearing cup removal. Drive out the bearing cup, alternating between holes. Use a flat punch to drive out the thrust plate, again alternating sides. Remove the O-ring seal from housing. Drive out the seal from the housing cover. Drive out the bearing cup through the access holes. Alternate holes while driving out the cup. Install a new rubber O-ring. Remove temporary bolts, then remove the motor.
Install a new bearing cup into the rotation housing with a brass drift. Install a new thrust plate into rotation housing. Install three new shims under the bearing cup. On the cover, install the new bearing cup with a brass drift. Install a new seal with the open side of the seal to the inside of the case. Inspect the seal after installation to ensure that the seal spring is still in place. Reinstall the motor with temporary bolts and nuts. Install the new spindle, making sure the bearing is seated in its cup. Install the drive gear and chain. Install the gear bushing into the drive gear. Rotate the chain to align holes of inner bushing with the drive gear. Install set screws into opposing holes on the bushing. Using a pry bar, tension the chain and snug temporary bolts. Tighten set screws when the chain is level with housing. Use the case for a level reference for the chain. Remove temporary bolts and replace with original bolts. Reinstall lower cover with two motor nuts and three Allen bolts.
Using a pry bar, lightly tension the chain and tighten nuts. Reinstall access hole plugs and tighten lightly. Finally, reinstall the hammer onto the lower rotation housing. If you have questions on this procedure, call our service department at 785 825-1842. You can also visit us on the web at geoprobe.com.